हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दिस प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन यू आर्ट सीरियल कम्युनिकेशन मॉड्यूल ऑफ एट जीरो फाइव वन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर सो एज वी ऑल नो सीरियल कम्युनिकेशन हैज सर्टन एडवांटेजेस सो लर्निंग आउटकम ऑफ दिस प्रेजेंटेशन विल बी स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू कंपेयर सीरियल कम्युनिकेशन विद द पैरल कम्युनिकेशन वट आर द एडवांटेजेस एंड ड्रॉबैक्स ऑफ ईच एज वेल एट द एंड स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू राइट असेंबली लैंग्वेज प्रोग्राम फॉर सीरियल कम्युनिकेशन using uart module of microcontroller 8051 so this these are the contents of the presentation we'll talk have introduction then we'll compare serial and parallel communication then we'll go through the uart structure and then various special function registers related to the uart and then uh, we'll see how we can handle uh, that particular uart module so this brief introduction for uart so in 8051 we have a uart type of serial communication facility where we can have asynchronous reception and transmission as we know there is a difference between synchronous and asynchronous in asynchronous serial communication what we do is uh, we do framing and then no need to send clock signal from sender to receiver so it supports uh, uart serial communication supports full duplex serial communication so that we can have transmission as well as reception simultaneously so as we know in the pin diagram RXD and TXD are the two pins which are related to this UART uh, UART module. Whenever you are sending the data, so whatever data is sent that goes on to the pin 3.2 port 3 pin number one uh, and it goes on TXD pin. And whenever you are receiving the data, the data will come on to the pin uh, pin number zero of port three. Uh, so let us compare what is serial communication and parallel communication when you go for the serial communication so the line ideally required between sender and receiver is only one so when you go for parallel communication we assume that eight bit data you are transmitting simultaneously so eight different lines are required between the sender and receiver so now you compare what will be the advantage of serial communication if the sender and dis, uh, sender and receiver if you compare distance between sender and receiver if it is more then definitely if you go for serial communication only one only one wire is required from sender to receiver but if you go for the parallel communication so eight different lines will be required for that definitely when you go for parallel communication speed of transmission will increase because at a time eight bit data you are sending here here bit by bit you are sending the data but if the communication speed which is available with this serial communication itself is sufficient for certain application then why to go for this parallel communication which will uh, increase additional hardware cost in the form of number of lines increase or if the senders and receivers are far away then you need to have channel established between the sender and receiver physically this is the block diagram of uh, uart module so there is one register called as esbuf register which plays important role in the serial communication esbuf is a single register as far as the programmer is concerned but as far as the hardware is concerned physically there are two separate esbuf registers so there is only one special function register address for this but physically there are two esbuf registers let us talk about how we do transmission using esbuf so whenever you want to transmit some data serially onto the txt pin so onto the data bus you will send the data the data will go to the esbuf register and then this esbuf register will convert that parallel data received serial onto the txd pin as well same esbuf register is used for reception also so whenever you are receiving some data so some baud rate clock generation is done at the receiver side as it is asynchronous communication baud rate clock has to be generated at the receiver side so that is generated and then you receive the data serially that serial to parallel conversion is done by this shift register and then again it goes to the esbuf register so whenever you are reading the whenever you are receive, receiving the data the received data is available in esbuf register as well when you are transmitting the data data you have to copy into the esbuf register so this how basically the uart communication module works for microcontroller 8051 so two pins are there txd and rxd so whatever data you are sending will go on to txd pin and whatever data you are receiving will be available through rxd pin on to the internal data bus as we know it is asynchronous communication so frame formation is required for asynchronous communication so this is how one way of forming the frame where you are sending some data d0 to d7 are the actual data bits which you want to send so actual frame form contains this data bits along with the redundancy in the form of one start bit 
which is added as well one stop bit is added so uh, though you are sending 8 bit data actual data send is of 10 bits so this is how you are forming the frame and then when you are sending the frame you have to decide certain baud rate at what baud rate you will be sending the data so let us talk about different special function registers which are related to the serial communication so basically there are three registers used so one important register we will discuss here which is yescon register this is a bit format along with this register one more register which is yesbuf which already we discussed and then one more register is there which is picon register rather it is related to the power control but there is only one bit in that picon register called as yesmod and which is used for the serial communication baud rate selection so this is the bit format this is the special function register for serial communication called as yescon so as we know that serial communication can generate interrupts so this ti and ri are the interrupt flag bits so whenever transmission is successful automatically this ti flag bit is set and whenever reception is successful when you are acting as a receiver this ri flag bit is set now if you look at this ti and ri flag bits so these are set by hardware but one important thing is these bits has to be cleared by the programmer as far as other interrupts are concerned all those interrupt flag bits are automatically cleared by the hardware itself by microcontroller itself but now here it will be responsibility of the programmer to clear these bits when these bits are set now this ti ri are used for generating the timer uh, the serial communication interrupt now this tb8 and rb8 so when you want to give a facility of error control in the serial communication in the form of adding some sort of parity check sort of techniques in that case we know that in the PSW of the microcontroller there is one flag called as uh, parity flag so that parity flag information can be fetched into this TB8 and this TB8 value is used as parity or additional 9 bit which can be used for the transmission so TB8 is the additional 9 bit you will be sending and then if you are sending 9 bit data so that ninth received data bit at the receiver side will go into the RB8 register of the receiver's ESCON register. Now there is one control bit called as REN, REN stands for reception enable. So when you want to enable the reception, receiver can decide whether it wants to receive the data or not. So REN is one, so then reception will be enabled. Otherwise it is disabled. So though sender is sending the data, receiver will not receive that data because REN is disabled. So if you look at REN, reception enable is the bit available here, but there is no TEN, transmission enable. See, this is with the intention that whenever user programmer wants to transmit the data, then only programmer will write that data into the SBUF register. So no need to have any transmission enable bit there. Now remaining three bits are for mode selection. So this SM2 bit is used for the multiprocessor communication. Whenever you are doing communication, serial communication, that too between two controllers. So usually we do communication between peripheral and controller but whenever more than two controllers are communicating with each other so that multiprocessor communication can be handled by this SM2 bit and this SM0 and SM1 are forming four different modes these two bits are used to decide four different modes of operation of this UART module. So these are the four modes so SM0, SM1 is equal to 0, 0 then mode 0 so what this mode 0 is it's a shift register mode. So this shift register mode can be used for increasing the port capability of the microcontroller. So serially you can send the data and then you can connect shift register to the uh, serial communication pin and then that data will be available parallelly. So you may say that additional port is now available to you. Like that, so mode one of serial communication is 8-bit data transmission, but here facility is baud rate can be e very easily varied. Now mode 2 and mode 3 are using 9 bit data transmission only in mode 2 9 bit transmission but baud rate is fixed that cannot be varied but in mode 3 what you can have 9 bit transmission along with that baud rate will be decided by the formula which we use for the mode 1. So this is one simple code how we can do assembly language coding uh, code for, for serial transmission so this is all about for selecting the baud rate so minus uh, 12 is loaded in th1 to have a baud rate of 4800 so you set that tr1 bit 
timer is running so bot it is selected and then let us say you want to send four characters e x t c so what i do is i send the character i load that character into a and i call a subroutine called as trans in trans what we do is the contents of accumulator are available in yesbuff as we discuss if the contents are available in yesbuff register those are serially transmitted at the end just what i check is whether tibt is set or not so if tibt is set then it is confirmed that that particular character is serially transmitted successfully then we clear that and then we return back to the main program so first e x t c so all these four characters will be sent actual these things are written in single quotes means its ascii value is loaded in the accumulator register and hence after running this particular code you will find that e x t c these four characters are sent serially so these are the references used for this presentation thank you